Hi there, and welcome back. Let us produce pure butane from natural gas using Aspen Hyacinth. Let us start. I've opened my simulation. I'm creating a new simulation here. Let's add our components under properties. We are going to add nitrogen, carbon monoxide, methane, ethane, propane, isobutane, and n-butane. The next step is to select a property package. In this scenario, we are going to work with Peng Robinson. Um, you can simply click on methods or just next. We are done under properties. Now let's move to the simulation. Under the simulation section, it will open a new flow sheet, which will be our main flow sheet. We can add all different components that we want to work with. So we can add our separator, heater, cooler, second separator, mixer, and also the last or third separator. We can also specify the streams that are going into and out of our equipment. So we are going to have a feed stream. We'll have two streams exiting from the separator, the top stream being the vapor and the bottom stream being the liquid. The streams will be connected respectively. Also, labeling the streams can make it easier when it comes to just for point of reference, as well as also labeling our equipment. Accordingly, there is no strict rule on how you should label you can label per preference The next step will be to edit our feed stream. For our feed stream, we are going to feed natural gas consisting of 0.01 mole fraction of nitrogen, 0.01 mole fraction of carbon dioxide, methane being at 0.6, we have ethane at 0.2, propane at 0.1, our isobutane at 0.04, and n-butane at 0.04 as well. After editing our feed stream, we can continue now, proceed by editing the first separator. For the first separator, we are going to specify only one outlet stream, at least that's what Aspen requests from us. For the heater, let us specify the temperature to be at 14.85 degrees Celsius or 288K, and also our pressure there being at 0.68 atmospheric pressure, which is roughly converted to 0.68901 bar. Next, let us now edit the cooling section. Using the similar equipment, this time around our heat exchanger will act as a cooler because we'll specify it in terms of temperatures. For our mixer, we really don't have to do a lot. Not much needs to be edited there. Let's proceed to our final separator, the last separator. For this separator, we are going to specify the final outlet stream um, that we choose to obtain. Our wish is to obtain pure butane at at least 100%. Um, for example, we can get isobutane at 0 0.45 and n butane at 0 0.54. If you add those together, including the decimals, it should round up to 100%. Now, Aspen will tell you at the bottom on your left corner, you've added all the required basic minimum requirements and now it is ready to run this file for you. If you're happy, you can run this file and your answers should tabulate. Without analyzing our results into detail, but just looking at our more fractions, we can see there that we did manage to obtain 100% of butane in our product stream without much of the errors. Feel free to simulate yourself as well, look at the report that you generate and analyze your results. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful. Till next time, bye.